guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to model a, a simple snowman. So first things first, let's uh let's just grab a sphere. This snowman's I, I'm sure you could assume we are literally just gonna use three spheres as the base. Um, I also found this picture, which I was like, oh, it's perfect. It's so cute and minimalist. So this is going to be kind of what I'm going for. Uh, we'll see how close we get to it. But so let's take this sphere and I'm just going to scale this sphere up just a tad. And then you can duplicate that sphere and move it up again. That's just a uh, duplicate is control D. And then we can click R and scale this down to about what it should be. All right, so we've got our two base circles for that guy. Uh, for the hat, I think I'm just going to use a cylinder. So you can grab a cylinder. Uh, that looks about good for the width. Uh, we can scale down that size on the top, though. And then let's add a multi-cut. Uh, the way to get the multi-cut tool is hold shift, right click, um, and just grab that tool. You can hold control to make a ring. And then we'll just make a rim by going about there. Yeah. And then click Q and hold tab, click one, and then double click the next. And then control E to extrude that. And then go ahead and up the thickness. So you got cute little top hat. All right, let's do the whole object. I want to just bring it down a bit. And then if you click three, you'll see how it's kind of rounding out a little oddly. So go into edge mode and hold shift and double click all of these 90 degree edges and then bevel it. And you can make it two segments and make them smaller and then push three again and see how that's kind of rounding out looks good all right and then let's do the eyes so that's just going to be another sphere uh, obviously way smaller so you can kind of make it however big you would like i'm going to click space and go into the front view because i want to try and line them up relatively well um, okay, I'm just going to scale it up like a tiny more. And then you can duplicate that and move it on over. All right, that looks good. And then select both of those by holding shift and just push them on into the mesh. You can then select those and the hat and we can assign a new material to it. Arnold should pop up and you're going to want to do AI standard surface and then just make it black. You can also uh, duplicate uh, one of these spheres and bring them on down to be the coal buttons. So you could try and kind of like center them a bit, duplicate it again and make a second one, and then move back into perspective and move it. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's address the scarf. Um, the scarf, I mean, we could just make it from a, a torus, uh, or I think, yeah, it's a torus or a little donut shape. Um, what I would do is probably go to poly torus and make the uh, radius bigger and then click R and scale it down. That way it's not like as crazy. I'm also gonna scale it up to be a little bit taller like that. All right, so that looks good. Let's go to face mode and I want to select these six faces and do control E for extrude. And then let's just like up the thickness, offset them in a little bit. And then I want to like push them down and up a little bit to just be like the little end of a just the end of a scarf, kind of. All 
All right, there we go. All right, and then let's actually give that a new material. We can make it red. Might be kind of cute. All right, let's tackle the nose. I think I'm going to use a cylinder. Uh, let's go to P cylinder 2 and rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. You could also scale it down. It obviously does not need to be that big. Uh, probably about that is good. Let's move it on out here. What we're going to do is we're going to basically just take this vertex and click W and push it on out um, to make our nose. And then you can take these back vertices and push them like that. And then um, if you click three, it's see, ah, actually that does round out pretty well. All right, and then you just go ahead and clip it to the surface. We can assign a new material to it. Uh, it would be orange, obviously, for our carrot. All right, and then uh, last thing is to just uh, do the uh, arms. So there's a couple different ways you could do the arms. Uh, we could do it with a cylinder. I think that's the way that I'm going to try it first. I'm just going to... Uh, actually, let's model the arm separately, standing up, and then we'll change it. Uh, let's go ahead and scale it down and make it tall. And then what I want to do is add some multi-cuts. So hold uh, control and middle click to get right in the middle. And then do one more up top and then another one. And then we're going to take... Let's do these faces and these faces. I'm just selecting and holding tab. And then let's control E and up the thickness. And you can also like press W and move them and such. Uh, you can also scale them. All right, that's how he's looking right now. Let's grab these guys and scale it in and push that guy up. You can also take these three and do edit mesh circularize. Makes it like a little bit more round. Um, oh, I was accidentally selecting those. All right, you can take these guys and do edit mesh circularize. Uh, then you can like up the uh, radial offset and things like that. You could also take these faces and push them out a little bit just to even that surface out. Just trying to smooth out this, uh, these like edges here. And then I'm going to move these out as well, just a tad. All right. That seems to be pretty good. I want to take this edge and just bevel it like that. All right, let's give this a brown material. And then move them on over. And you can scale them however they need to be. And angle them. And then you're just going to want to duplicate it. And angle it again. I'm going to move this one like a little bit more down and angle him. All right. And then last but not least, let's give uh, the base, uh, let's assign a new material to it and make them white. All right. 
Let's go ahead and grab a plane, move it on down. Let's assign, uh, I'm going to put the checkered texture on it. And then click on Arnold and grab your Sky Dome light. I'm going to save it real quick just so I don't crash my computer or anything. And then we can render it and see how he's turning out. Oh, this one's so cute. All right. Um, I think this one is adorable. I need to do more Christmas themed ones or just holiday themed ones. All right. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. But that is it for this tutorial. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Um, I really did with this one. But I will, uh, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.